All right, today we're going to learn something brand new. It's 6.8, and it's called the coordinate plane. When we're doing the coordinate plane, we're always going to use graph paper, and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about the graph paper and about the coordinate plane. All right, so the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to label some different parts. The first thing we're going to label today, I want us to talk about the x-axis. The x-axis is the line that basically cuts the paper in half from left to right. So I want you to pull out your red pen, and we're going to label this. This is the x-axis. All right, the next thing over here, it asks us to label the y-axis. Where do you think the y-axis is, guys? Up and down. Up and down. So now you're going to go ahead and draw a line straight up and down. And now we're going to go ahead and label the line that this was the y-axis. All right, the next thing that it says right here is the origin. The origin is basically the start of everything, okay? So for us, the start of this coordinate plane is zero and zero. So we're gonna go ahead and label with your pencil. I want you to just draw, oops, a circle right here. And we're gonna draw an arrow to that because this right here is our origin. And remember, the origin is always going to be 0 and 0. The next thing I want to teach you is how to number your lines, okay? So if this right here that we just talked about, if that's 0 and 0, we're going to label our lines going to the right-hand side. The first line right here next to that 0 is going to be a 1. The next line is a 2 and then a 3. Now here's something I want you to be careful of. Do not label the box. Do you see how I just put that 4 in the box? You're not labeling boxes, you are labeling the lines. So make sure your number goes directly on top of the line. We're gonna go ahead and go all the way to the right and let's label it just to the number 10. It is very important that you do not skip lines, okay? So make sure the very first line right here is line one. All right, so now we're gonna label it whenever we go to this side of the x-axis. To the left is going to be negative 1, and each one, think of it like a number line, negative 2, negative 3, and let's go ahead and label it all the way to negative 10. Remember, you are trying your best to label the line and not the box. Okay, so we just numbered all of our x-axis. Now we're going to go ahead and label or number our y-axis. So going up, what do you think the first line right here is going to be called, guys? That is going to be a 1, okay? Let's label it all the way up. Now, this doesn't mean just this side is going to be this. It also means this is a 1, this is a 2. So basically, the whole line there is what we're labeling. All right, so we labeled it all the way up to 10. What do you think it's going to be as I start to label it down this way? Negative, okay? Anything as you go down on the y-axis is going to be negative, so start with negative 1. Okay, so before you do anything on the coordinate plane, you basically want to make sure that you understand and you've labeled each of your lines. Now we're going to talk about one last thing. This says right here we were talking about the quadrants. The quadrant is basically something that helps you to know or locate where the points are at. With the quadrant, instead of saying quadrant one, the number one, you are always going to do Roman numerals. Does anyone know how to do a Roman numeral for the number one? What is it? It's a capital I, okay? So with your red pen, go ahead and label quadrant one. All right, so that is quadrant one. Now we're gonna go ahead and label this over here as quadrant two. All right, so I'm kind of starting working backwards. This was quadrant one, this was quadrant two. What do you think this one down here is gonna be? Quadrant three. <coughs> All right, and then the final quadrant over here is going to be quadrant four. All right, so those are just some basic things that you need to know about the coordinate plane. 
Okay, so our instructions tell us to plot the point and then describe its location. The first thing that I want you to do before you do anything else is we're going to go ahead and label our lines. So we know one, two, three, four, five. For this one, I just want you guys to go over five. To the left, go ahead and go over five also. And remember, you are labeling the line, not the box, okay? And as you draw your lines, you always want to make sure you're doing it right on top of a line. Now, as I'm going up, I am labeling the lines going up. That's line one, line two, three, four, and five. As I go down, what kind of numbers are those? Negative. They're always going to be your negative numbers. Once again, label the line. Look right here. You don't want to label it inside of a box. Instead, you want to label it on a line. The instructions here is an ordered pair. The ordered pair says that the X is always going to be first, and then your Y is always going to be second. So looking at my first example right here, is this one the X or the Y? It's the X. The X is always first. Now this is very important. I put this in red because I want you to remember it. Read me what this says right here. Move right or left, then up or down. Okay, now, do you guys remember where the origin was? Yes, the middle. The middle, okay? It's always right here, wherever it intersects. This right here, that point is your origin, okay? So whenever we're doing this, we are always going to start at the origin. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little yellow spot here so you guys can see it. The first thing I want to do is go to a 3, all right? Is that 3 my X or my Y? Yes. It's my X. Does the X go left and right or up and down? Left and right. Remember, this right here is my x-axis. So this thing right here tells me I've got to go to a 3. Should I go left, right, up, or down to go to a 3 on the x-axis? I should go right, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and think I'm going over here to where that number 3 is right there, okay? Now, I'm not finished. Look at this. What's it say? Negative 4. Negative four. Is that negative 4 my x or my y? It's my Y, because look right here in the ordered pair, that is always going to be what my Y is. So now I've got to figure out, I have to go to negative 4. Which way is negative 4 for the Y? Go down, okay? So now I know I'm moving down here until I get to the negative 4. Now when you're plotting a point, you don't need to show the path that you're going. This is just for me to help you so that you can see. But instead, all you're going to do is just plot the point. So I know I went to the right 3 and down negative 4. So this right here is where I need to plot my point. As I come back over here, I can see that is point L. So I'm going to label it that that was point L. It says explain or describe its location. Where is this located at? What quadrant is that? Quadrant four. quadrant 4 is correct. So directly underneath it, we're just going to go ahead and write that that was in quadrant 4. That is the location of that point. Okay, so let's just remind ourselves. The ordered pair, x comes first, y comes second, which means you have to move right or left first, then up or down. So we're going to go ahead and look at our, first, or our problem B here. M is at 5 and 0. Is the 5 my X or my Y? It's the first one there. What's the first one here, guys? X. So I know it's my X. Does X move right and left or up and down? Right or left. So I'm going to go right or left to 5. Which direction is that? To the right. Okay, so remember, you always start at your origin, and then I've got to come over here to the 5. Now, if you look, it tells me to go how many places? Zero. So is that up or down? No. At the thing. It's neither. You're not going to go anywhere else. I'm already there. So that is where point M is at. All right. If it tells me zero for the Y, that means I do not move anywhere else. Okay. Now, can somebody tell me what location that is? Is that on an axis or is that in a quadrant? Uh, axis. Which axis is it on? That is the x-axis, so that is the location, is the x-axis. Let's look at this first one, okay? It says to go to negative 1. Is that my x or my y? x, because x always comes first, okay? So remember, I start at my origin, and I go to the x, negative 1. Next up, I have to go to negative 2. That's my y, so that means I'm going up or down. Which direction? down, go down to negative 2. So when you do all of that, you should see that you should have your new point 
right here. Okay, and what should we label that as? N. Which quadrant is that in? Okay, some people are saying two, some people are saying three. Remember, you start here. This was one, two, three, and four. Okay, so which quadrant were we in? We were in quadrant three. How do I do that with a Roman numeral? I, 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 I. I, I, I. I want you guys to go ahead and do problem D on your own. Label it and then tell me where its location is. Okay, so we know left and right always goes first because up here it says right here, move right or left. That's our X, okay? So every time I'm going to start at my origin right here. Now it tells me to go negative 3. Which direction am I going, guys? Left. Go left. 1, 2, 3, over, okay? Next up, this one right here is going to be my Y. Does Y go up and down or left and right? Uh. Up and down, okay? So now I know it's a positive 5, so I'm going to go ahead and take that and move up here to that point, okay? So I'll go ahead and plot my point. I went left three and up five. And what is that point called? O. Point O. Which quadrant is that in? Quadrant two. Quadrant two. Check to see the spelling. A lot of you are spelling this word incorrectly, and then make sure you also put it in Roman numerals for me, okay? I'm going to go ahead and stop there. We will continue more of this lesson on 6.8 tomorrow.